Hi, anybody. I'm Lapires, and this is Super Mario 35. Today's daily challenges are clear two courses, clear two courses in a single battle, okay. Target and send enemies the lowest time 30 times, okay. And clear, defeat 200 enemies. All right, sounds good. We are going to, hey, we got all of these up to 30, that's cool. Neato, we are finally caught up with other stages, neat. Um, the only way to get a bingo is to beat 6-4 a bunch though. Yikes. Probably won't happen. <laughs> Probably won't happen. How are you guys doing on this uh, wonderful Saturday morning? For me anyways, uh, I don't know. I don't know what day it is for you guys. Sometime in the future, right? Neat. That's good. I don't know, it's been a pretty uneventful day. Um, Re-exported basically everything from the... Everything from the 19th until basically yesterday. We got that done. And uh, now I'm currently exporting that large uh, Lesson of Zelda Majora's Mask uh, video. It's almost, I think it actually is four hours long. 14 gigabytes of video. <laughs> All about me struggling in Snowhead. It's... You know, I could probably just spend an hour goofing off, uh, screwing up the Goron race. I probably did spend at least an hour and a half of recording Goron race failures. I kid you not. It was pretty horrible. I think there's only like, there's got to be only like five minutes of it in the, in the actual video. So yeah, that's a, that's Majora's Mask. Uh, that's fun. Like it is at a uh, 10%. We started about probably two and a half hours ago. So you know, uh, that tracks. Pretty sure the math I did the last time I tried to make this export this video uh, made it seem like it'd be at least a 20 hour 20 hour video, and that is how it looks like it's gonna be. It'll be done when I wake up uh, after helping out of the house. Very fun stuff. Very fun stuff. But yeah, once that's done, uh, I actually need to start working on the uh, other Zelda videos. Because I've got them recorded, it's just I have to uh, do some Photoshop work to get... And then uh, actually just edit them up, you know, the way I want them. Okay, that works for me. That does not work, but you know, it's fine. I got my uh, Monster Hunter Rise uh, Collector's Edition today. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. It literally says everything that comes with it, but uh, I don't know. It was smaller than I was expecting. It was really just the uh, the game, the amiibo, and a pin. And some stickers. You can't forget about the stickers. That's what that's what makes it collector's edition. That was cool. Part of me that wonders if like I know it's no longer in vogue to do uh, unboxing videos, but I wonder if anybody would like to see that, like with collector's editions at least. Or like weird rare things. Like, you know, if we ever get a Another Zelda soundtrack? Like, we could open that up. That'd be cool. Like, one of the ones with it, where it's, like, got the neat boxy poo, and it's got, like, the books and the pins and, like, the little standees inside. That could be fun. Heck, I feel like the ones I have, I never really, uh... 
really took them apart too much, other than the Breath of the Wild one. I did take that one apart pretty much when I got it. It was very useful. I like the I like the the play button. That was pretty cool for doing dishes. And then uh I also like the memo pad. That was pretty sweet. I don't have very many memo pads, so that was very useful. Okay. Thanks game. Cool 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 cool. Yeah, all the other ones I pretty much just opened for the, uh, soundtrack, so I could put it on my, uh, iTunes. Yeah, I still use iTunes. That really tells you how old my computer is, and how, uh, decrepit it is. I don't know. iTunes was a thing for a long time. From, like... When I was in middle school or high school to a... I don't know, just a few years ago. And I mean, technically it's still kind of alive, like the framework of music is basically just iTunes, right? I feel like that's it. Could be wrong. Fear a future where, like, apps are essential, but also, like, not programmed better than they are now, you know? Like, literally any app can have a random failure, you know? That's just the way they are. Like, they're complex things. They, they get borked up a little bit. I don't know. It's just, I'm not looking forward to it. Like, between that and, like, apparently the PlayStation 5 controllers also have similar issues to, uh, the Nintendo Joy-Cons and Pro Controllers, where they get drifty kind of quick. Like, if you pay, like, 50, 60, 100 bucks for something, it should work. Like, a lifetime guarantee. How hard is that? And it's like, well, we're just putting emergent technology into this controller, and it's like, maybe don't. Maybe stick with the established stuff here. And it's like, yeah, but we always go with the emergent technology. That's what gave you the N64 joystick. That's what gave you the N64 joystick. That's not a punchline. That's just a, that's just a statement. <laughs> Where we've come in the last uh, almost 30 years. The video game garbage. Similar situations. Well, it's no longer the little plastic nubby wearing out. <laughs> it's it's uh, the little plastic nubby wearing out. It's also sometimes the little plastic nubby being mi misled by the fact that we use graphene or whatever. You know, a, a material that rubs away and wears away to a... I don't remember what they used it for. I don't think it was a lubricant. But yeah, I don't know. Reading about the reading about the Joy Cons and like not really understanding engineering is hilarious because all I'm left with is they knew <laughs> that there would be drawbacks to their choices and they did it anyways. Well, we've got to have all these features, and there's no way to pack them all into a controller smaller than any controller we've ever made without major sacrifices. And I get it. You want to have a cool presentation. You want to have a cool. You want to have a cool thing. The cool thing's the only way to save the company. Blah blah blah. I get it. But man, as a consumer, I I don't care about the company. I do care about the product I bought and used. That is, you just bought one joy, one set of Joy Cons that didn't come with the system. That's, what, 60 to, 60 to 80 bucks down the drain, depending on what color they were, depending on what kind they were, like, that's awful. That really is, and if you bought multiple sets, like, man, I bet you feel really dumb right now. I know I do. 
Well, they usually just fix themselves up eventually, so if you have enough pairs, you can just keep switching out. <laughs> the ones that work and the ones that don't until... Hopefully either they all work or they all don't. You know, either way. What's that thing about cocaine being God's way of telling you you're making too much money? Joy-Cons are Nintendo's way of telling you you have too much money. You spend too much time playing video games. That's what it is. We all ignored all their, like, weird, uh... Stop playing game stuff in, uh... In the 2000s, and now they're, they're hitting us with you can't play games if your controllers don't work. Haha. -ha. But it's temporary. Ho ho, hee hee, we gotcha. This doesn't sound exactly positive <laughs> about Nintendo, uh, no it's not. And I say this as someone who does love the idea of the company very much, and who does love the products of the company very much, and its associated franchises a lot. Enough to play <laughs> enough to play the Nintendo Switch for probably a combined I don't know what the combined total of all the all my playtime is yet. That's a lot of math. <laughs> That's a lot of math, and I don't want to deal with it. Ever. Oh, somebody else came here. Okay, cool. I'll take it. I will definitely take this. You know what? Why not? No fear. Moving on. I am do I'm doomed. I don't... I'm doomed. I don't have enough time. I do have enough coins, though, so uh, that's... A silver lining right there. I guess I do have enough time, that's cool. Oh dear, that never works. Never works well for me. Oh my goodness, I jumped over him for once. Hooray. Why would I do that? That was my one chance to survive. It was my one chance to survive. Please, game, let me, uh... Not screw this up somehow. Please don't give me a power block. Please don't give me. Of course, you jerk. What did I say? What did I say, game? Works for me. It's all about living a little longer. Oh, that's cool. I'll take that. Yeah, I will take this to heart. I'm not gonna survive, but uh, we're gonna try our best no matter what. Oh crap. Oh cool, that was way more than I deserved. Way more whatever than I deserved. Thank you, game. Well, that's it for me. It was fun, guys. Yep. Second place. <laughs> Second place by timeout. Neato. But hey, we knocked out two of the uh, big courses, so that's cool. And we forgot about Lois' time. Oof. Well, of course, it's a 99-level double star. Sure. Of course. Why not? That's that's how it always is, isn't it? Onward we go. Um Yeah, this is the next one. Nito. Finally catching up. Finally enforcing these castle stages to be caught up to everything else. Nito burritos. I'll take it. I like it. It's cool. I'm really gonna regret saying I'm gonna play double double length episodes next week. After Sunday. 
It's only like two or three days though, so it's not too bad. And it won't be it won't be applying to special battles, so that kind of alleviates a little bit of that. My expectation is kind of that like whenever special battle ends on Tuesday or Tuesday morning, that's gonna be the end of Super Mario 35, isn't it? That's my expectation. I could be wrong. It could continue until the end of Wednesday. Or it could continue into uh, early morning Wednesday. Whatever the end of Tuesday in Pacific time would be. I don't know. I never know about this stuff. But we're prepared. Gonna have a lot of fun with it. Gonna have a lot of love with it too. Like, you don't play a game for, like, 200 hours without a... Without liking it a little bit, you know? Or at least I hope people don't. Of course, you see Steam reviews of, like, people who played a game for, like, 5,000 hours, and they're like, yeah, I didn't like a single part of it. And it's like, how? How did you do that, then? Well, I'm lying, and I just want to write a funny review. Also, I hate the company, but I love the game. I don't know. People are weird. People are always weird. That's my takeaway from being alive and being a human being. Life is weird. People are weird. Sometimes it's best not to think about it. Neato burritos. Cool. Works for me. Oh boy. I could have just gone to one two, but like why why bother? We can we can survive two two. It's fine, it's just another part of the journey. Besides, we see one two and one one enough, right? If somebody if Fate gives us a, a different stage, we take it. And usually, like, nine times out of ten, that different stage is this one. Four, seven, two, you know? Uh, it's fine. It's A-OK. -okay. We actually saw both seven, four, and eight, four, uh, today, so that's cool. We can see five, four, that'd be pretty sweet. I would be pretty hyped for that. And I'm already pretty hyped. Read the, read the new chapter of One Piece yesterday. That was pretty good. Not gonna spoil it for anyone, but, uh... A lot of, a lot of confirmed, a lot of confirmed and not deads. That's, that's basically the gist. A lot of confirmed and not deads, a lot of alleged deads. That's about it. A lot of people being disappointed by, a. Uh, By a hybrid form. Yep, yep. You should have a longer neck. It's like, I don't, I don't have any, I don't care. He's a dragon man. What do you expect? He's got horns and scales. What do you need? What do you need? I need a longer neck. I need longer fangs. I need him to personally wish me a Merry Christmas. Like, I don't know what people want. Thankfully though, I'm not the author or I'm not I'm not a manga artist, so I don't have to worry about what what people want. I just draw weird comics in my spare time about anthropomorphic cat people. And frog people. And bird people. You know, it's just it's just animal people living together in one society. They're trying their best. I believe that's a good message. The theme was friendship until I realized, like, that gets really bleak when I start <laughs> realizing I'm an adult who hasn't made a friend since, like, what, 2000, uh, 
2018? 2018. 2018. Wow. That was a pretty cool year, though. I did make a great friend. I made one friend in 2018. <laughs> Oof. I feel like in a certain point in life, it's not about making new friends, it's about, uh, keeping up and, uh, really valuing the friends you've made. And that, that doesn't come with any specific age, it just, it eventually happens. That's not to say, like, you should just stop making friends, but there's really only so many people you can keep up with. And kind of have a vi having a vague knowledge of what that number is for you is pretty helpful, I think. I would hope. Oh boy. Well, that's not what I want to do at all. That worked out really well. I am pleasantly surprised. I was expecting to waste coins or something. I get some cool beans from me. Oh boy, there's multiple Bowsers. Weird. Lucky. Lucky me. Okay, miss the piranha plant. That's fine. We don't we don't need all of them. I never did. We never did. Boop boop ba doop boop boop. But yeah, I am officially caught up on Super Mario 35 videos. In terms of a ex <laughs> in terms of editing them and uh, exporting them and moving them to a hard drive where I can upload them, you know, they're not uploaded yet. They will be, hopefully, uh, before Monday. Like ideally, like when I'm done recording today or tomorrow. I really haven't decided. But today or tomorrow, I have to do a mass upload of... Probably tomorrow. I'll probably just set up all of the Super Mario and the Mar and that long Zelda one. Just do them all at once and let them take all day to upload. I don't care. I'll be gone most of the day. And then I'll be asleep for the other part of the day, so it doesn't matter. Oh well. Is that the best course of action? Of course not, but uh... Could be worse. And then when I get home or wake up, we'll just keep clicking until everything's a okay. And oh, I don't have a. I don't have a. I don't have a. Yep. Could have been a little faster there, block. Could have been a little faster there. Okay. Danny Galley. That's a cool name. Baby Yoda and Crook Cook. That would be a game to play. Crook Cook. I don't know what it would be. Anti Lovey. Heidi 2. What happened to Heidi 1? Although I suppose people could say that about a. My Luffy 2 account, too, I guess. Oh well. Well, I have two, ac <laughs> I have two accounts, so I can, uh. I can play online games with- I can record two different sets of online games, you know? I can, uh, do a commentary series and do a non-commentary series and not have them be the, the same account. You know, if you're obsessive like that. You know what I keep forgetting to do? Lowest time. It is such an easy thing to, uh, to do. We killed one enemy. I'm only counting the non-gray ones. So that's like, what, three enemies? Four enemies? We're, we'll go with three. We'll round down. That's 
four, that's five. Six, seven, I forgot about seven, it's six. That's eight. Or seven. I don't remember, it's seven now. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think that's thirteen. We'll round down to twelve, it's, it's safe, right? That's fourteen. That was definitely two of these guys. And that's, uh, 16? Cool. Works for me. I'm not getting that. I don't... That's 15? <laughs> I'm trying really hard not to laugh. That's 17? Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty and twenty-one. I'm trying really hard not to laugh. This is... This is really funny to me. Okay, I don't think we got any of the... So what's that, 23? 24? 25? That's 25. Seven. Cool, cool. And so we almost got our 30. Almost. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to break here. 29, 30. Bazam! We did it! I really wanted to uh, just keep saying 28 the whole the whole stage through, but I... I don't think I can. I don't think I can handle that kind of hilarity. Oh boy. Like, we're not doing super great, but we could be doing worse. I mean, this is hardly struggling. It's it's not a safe buffer, but, you know, it's hardly struggling. There we go. Definitely more in the safety zone. Play no straight roads. It's got some cool music. But I canceled that pre order in September because I was unemployed and. I don't know, reviews were mixed for the game, so I was like, well, we'll wait, we'll see. But I keep seeing stuff about it, so, uh, I'm into it. I'm kind of into it now. I say that, and it's like, yeah, but you really should be into a uh, Monster Hunter whenever you get around to that. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Like, that may be something we try to do, like, uh, a few days a week. Try to play some Monster Hunter. And I know that would be fun. I mean, I've never, <laughs> I've never gotten into a Monster Hunter game that deep. Well, like, I didn't have anyone to play multiplayer games with as a kid, really. So that's why I never really got into it, like, on the DS. And I never had a PSP, so never had a chance to get into it there. I had a lot of friends who loved it on the PSP, though. And it's like, well, I'm a Nintendo boy, and it's like, well, you should have, you picked wrong. We're gonna, we're gonna play this. <laughs> we're gonna play this in high school. So I missed that, I missed that train. Like, the first one I owned was, uh, 
Wanna say try ultimate or try something for the Wii U? And I, it was okay. I just, like the dialogue stuff was too small on my TV at the time. That's uh, actually what l led me to get the, uh, the flat screen I destroyed with a book. And I never got into it, because by that time, like, our house had got broken into, so, uh, we moved- I moved all my expensive stuff to my sister's place, so I didn't get to play any games that year. And that sucked. At least until I graduated and could spend the whole time at home. Like, w when I moved out of that place and was living at my sister's old place, like, man, yeah. Spent a lot of time gaming. But like none of the none of the um, newer stuff I bought, like it was just a bunch of older stuff I had acquired. A lot of N64 games. Didn't get very far in any of them. Oh no, I did the wrong thing. Well, I guess not. It's fine. You're dead. Kazam! Yeah, that was my life at one point. You know, not too bad. Not <laughs> too bad, uh... I don't know. I guess I would say, like, if no matter where you live, invest in curtains. Or bed sheets, you know? <laughs> curtains can be expensive. I get it. But you can usually get bed sheets for uh, an affordable price. And with a dowel rod, they can hang up pretty much anywhere. I don't know, I just... Advocate not letting people look into your living room so they can see that you got a lot of stuff to steal. Usually a good idea. Especially if, like, you and all your roommates are very deep in your college years and uh, you're not home for, like, 60 to 80% of the day. Like, between four of you, like, you're only home for 20% of the day. That's bad. So, yeah, that's also my advice. Stay home. Just stay home, kids. It's, it's better at home. It always is. School, friendship, romance, it's all overrated. Just stay on the couch, stay in your bed. Roll around a few times, drink some water. A lot of water, drink a lot of water. Conserve the water with your body. And that's really bad advice, but uh... Comes from a place of uh... Being terrified of the world. <laughs> and scarred by what's been done to me, and others. It's really wild to me that there's only like two spots in this game where giant mushrooms are found. Absolutely wild. Thanks, Goombas. You're so slow, uh. We ran down more time than we, uh, gained. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Okay, we're starting to... See the timer climb a little bit. That's cool. That's what we need. That's exactly what I needed. That's exactly what I needed. Thanks, game. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Is it dumb? Of course it is. But everything's dumb from a certain perspective. Or is it anything's dumb from a certain perspective? Everything's a little bit too, uh, total. You gotta, you gotta craft your language so it's a little... 
Got a little wiggle room. If you have a little wiggle room, you're never wrong. Remember that. That's advice from your old pal, Luffy. Like Flowey would say it's kill or be killed, I would say it's a... Uh, not quite that bad. Maybe it's just uh, it's kill or not have the Sunday Sunday, you know? The good old Sunday Sunday. You know, the after the after Sunday school ice cream for being good. I never got that, but uh, I imagine some people do. Some people will get that and be like, ah, oh, yeah. My parents had to bribe me to go to church, and it's like, yeah. <laughs> Kids, right? <laughs> Laughable. Oh boy. Running, running, running. Where's 5-4 is my question. Probably not a good question, but uh, it's my question. Oh, you know what I should be doing? Using my coins. At this point, I'm kind of a fool not to. Well, that's cool. Definitely not a waste of my time. Cool. Oh dear. Oh buddy. That's fun. That's neat. Gotta love it when the game's like, you know what, you're gonna need a lot of help. We're gonna give you a lot of fire flowers for this one. <laughs> you are pretty freaking dead, buddy. Darn it. I mean, I like winning, but uh... Why can't you let me beat 8-4, please? Just let me beat 8-4. <laughs> That's all you have to do. Uh, okay, we did send enemies lowest time 30 times. I was pretty sure no matter what, yeah, we did. <laughs> that was some pretty funky counting. Some pretty, pretty fun counting. Yep, yep. Hmm. Okay, so we did beat a 4-3 once. That's cool. Everything else is like in the hundreds or like almost a hundred, and then you have stages like 4-3 is only 31. Wow. 33, 32, 43. What a way to be. Let's do it up though. We've got time for like two or three more rounds. Let's let's do it. Get it done. Then we'll do special battle. And then we'll do the no commentary run. Then we'll do the no commentary run special battle. And depending how I feel after that, we'll do a Tetris. Then I have to eat and then I have to draw. And then I get to help out at the at the house for a while. Although when I think about my ankle, like I could probably leave early. I could probably leave early. Like, I'd probably have my mom or my sister bring me home early. Maybe. I don't know. But it's not like I really need to be. It's gonna really depend on my ankle. If it hurts, then yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna call it quits whenever I get a chance. If it holds up, then, uh, why not? Like, this Zelda video is not gonna be done for, uh, <laughs> uh until like 8 o'clock. 8 p.m. Maybe six. Maybe six. I don't know. It's definitely gonna be a while. Yeah, if I was a betting person, I'd say around six. Because ten would be 24 hours, so... 20 hours would be around six, I feel. Which is late, but, you know... Earlier than... <laughs> earlier than it should be. Could be, you know? And it's nice that I can just record I can record and uh, export videos at the same time now. Thanks, new capture card. 
I really do love the Elgato. It's got a lot of options. It's got a lot of different options than a... Now, it's not to say I didn't love the Aver Meteor one. It was, it was a good capture card, until it wasn't. And that's not the fact that it's a bad capture card. It's just, it's an old capture card with old software. If it was still being supported, if it was a... Maybe if it was running on a PC, like, maybe it'd be better, but, uh... My experience was okay at the start, and then, uh... Slowly became pretty bad. And I guess that's anything. Like, you know, nothing lasts forever. And you really can't blame it for... Decaying, I guess? Yeah, I think decaying. I don't know, degrading? There we go. Degrading. Over time. I think my biggest reason for going home early would be to see if, um... The newest episode of... Friday Night Funkin' with lyrics is done. Um, by Rec D. Twitter says it should be, could be, could be, not should be. It, oh man, what I, why'd I do that? Come back, Mushroom. I love you. Oh well, we got distracted. But yeah, YouTube user, uh, Rec D does a lot of cool lyric videos. You should, you should, you should check them out if you like video games and songs, musicals. I, I would say his uh, Friday Night Funking stuff is uh, pretty much the strongest stuff he's done so far. It's pretty cool. It like adds lore, and like a lot of it is actually like from stuff the developers said, and some of it's just stuff he comes up with to make it make sense to the world he's trying to build, I guess and the songs he wants to sing. So, I, it's really cool. I really enjoy it. He's a really talented guy. Like, there's a lot of really talented people in video game music. Or like in video game, uh, fan songs, I guess. Like there's Rec D, there's a uh, Man on the Internet, that's a whole team of people. And then you got a Juno. And I know there's other ones, like, um, if you don't want lyrics, there's, a uh, what's the name of the guy who does metal covers for, uh, all these Nintendo songs? He's so awesome. I love it. I like to jam out to those when I'm drawing and stuff. Like, there's so many cool, uh, so many cool people, so many cool creative people. It's just awe-inspiring. Like, uh, Juno, another guy I mentioned earlier, he just finished up a Paper Mario Origami King, like, boss battle lyric series. Now that is freaking impressive. Like, a few of them even have allusions to, uh, real songs. God. Like, how awesome. Like, I'm always impressed with people who have talents I don't. It's so cool. And that's why it ticks me off when other people are like, oh, artists is, what are you going to do as an artist? And it's like, literally all the media you consume is literally created or shaped by, like, artists. You realize that. And it's like, well, most of it's actually designers. And it's like, there's a difference? And I don't know if we're going to get technical. Yeah, there is. But, like, they go to the same schools. Often one will play as the other at some point in their life. Like... Art and design go hand in hand, like peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, I wouldn't call I wouldn't call pe jelly peanut butter, and I certainly as heck wouldn't like consider peanut butter a jam. But I don't know. That's my statement. Artists and designers are like uh, peanut butter and jelly. Except sometimes you can actually uh interchange them, you know? Unlike, uh, peanut butter and jelly. 
I wouldn't put peanut butter on toast. I'm trying to think of something I wouldn't put jelly on, and it's like everything other than toast? Okay, that's not what I wanted, but I'll take it anyways. Yeah, we're gonna kill you guys, cause uh... Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Well, this is a very bad situation to be in. Well, that was weird. I did not know that was a thing. I feel a little bit safer, but I also don't. Um. Thanks, game. Yeah, I know. I know what I'm doing. Well, I guess I don't. I thought this would, uh, just go away at some point. <laughs> Thanks, game. You always know how to make me uh, cheer up. How to how to save your life and win influence by uh, wasting your coins irresponsibly. The Super Mario 35 way to a uh, success. Oh, I was not sure that would work. I was hoping, but uh, I was hoping, man. I always am. Oh boy, that was very lucky. It often is. <laughs> it often is. Um, I do. I did not deserve the win on this one. I don't think. Um, I don't deserve a win. I'm barely eking on. A, I'm barely eking on a in existence. I am not thriving, I'm not surviving, I'm just, uh, barely doing anything. I don't have enough coins. I am being watched by a lot of people, though. Oh my goodness. Uh, that is a lot of people. It's only three, and it's like, yeah, but that's three more than usual. That is a bit intimidating. Oh, and that person's got no coins now. Okay. How did you do that, friend? You were you were very intimidating for a while. And that's a twenty. That's twenty seconds in my favor. And we're back to one one. Hooray! You love to see it. If I lose this somehow, I'm gonna be really frustrated. Because, uh, there's no reason to at this point. There really is no reason to lose at this point, uh. Other than I'm a silly goose. And I am a silly goose, who's often making really bad choices. They're building up their coins again. That's awesome. Good for you. I'm very concerned. I'm very concerned. Uh, why? Yeah, it's gonna be fine, but, uh... I'm gonna be really... Like, if I lose by killing myself, I'm gonna be really upset, I guess. If I lose just by, like, you know, the usual stuff, um, that's fair. Alright. Um, there we go. Come on. No, 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 you don't do this to me. You don't do this to me. Thank you. Thank you, please. No, stop. 
Come on, you. Oh man, he is actually uh, kicking my butt, I think. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I, thought, I thought he kicked my butt. But it was actually me kicking the butt, actually. Cool. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Let's see the... Yeah, that's what I thought. It... I wasn't really expecting high level. High level people. Still though, uh... Everybody did pretty good, I feel. We, we lasted a little bit longer than usual, I feel. So, that's cool. Good work, Jordan. You did your best. Um, we did not see 5-4, so I'm a little depressed. This is gonna be the horse I'm, this is gonna be the horse I ride out on as we uh, wind down Super Mario 35. Trying to get to 5-4. Which, I mean, that's kind of funny. Um, we spent the whole, <laughs> we spent a whole, like, what, two or three weeks trying to get to 2 4 when I first started playing? Kind of funny trying to get to a uh, 5 4. And that's just me. Liking those parallels. <laughs> liking those parallels. Hello there, friends. I don't know what kind of voice that was, and I, I feel like it probably wasn't too much different than my usual one. But, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't even remember what I was talking about, uh... Oh, I like those parallels, yeah. I really love my bookends. Start something, end something with the same thing, kinda. Poetic. Literary. Now that's a word that should be used more often. Instead of literally. Literary. Eh? 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 Okay, whatever. I can sense your lack of a uh, enthusiasm. <laughs> enthusiasm. Enthusiasm's a funny word. Like, not any specific part of it's funny, it's just, uh. It tickles my bones a little bit. It tickles my funny bones. at probably the last round of today, unless I, uh, croak early. Or unless it really ends early, I don't know. These have been some pretty wild rounds, I think. Like, none of them have been the shortest I've ever seen, like, I feel like we've had a few that ended, like, in less than six minutes. But that's usually super rare. Usually everything's, uh, nice and longer. Nice and worse, you know? It's good to be attacked by five people. It really is. Especially on a stage like a 1-3. Where everything's on a different level than you. Literary. <laughs> Literary. I com I'm combining words now, huh? Literally. Literary. Oh my goodness. I'm never gonna be able to say... <laughs> Liter... Liter... Oh my goodness. Literally, or, uh, literary ever again. <laughs> I'm gonna mix them up for the rest of my life. Thanks, me. That's, that's what I did. And if I trick you into doing this too, I'll never have to hear the word literally again. That's cool. That's literally the best idea I've ever had. Oh yeah, bouncing. Okay, bounce streak ended. Bounce streak over. The ground and gravity are my new friends. Hooray! Neat. I like Goombas because they, they just get squashed no matter what you do. As long as you don't land on their sides, they get squashed. Koopas are a little more tricky. Land on their face or their tails, and yeah, sometimes you get bit. 
But for the most part, things are usually okay, too. Things are usually okay. fun. Works for me. Works for me. Oh my goodness. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, not too bad. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Could have been better. One, two, three. 2-7-D. 2-7-T. There's no D in 7-T. But man, I want to pronounce it that way. Oh dear. Not really what I needed, not really what I wanted. So it goes, so it goes, so it goes. I don't have the coins I want. I need more coins. Why don't I have more coins? Everybody else has a lot of coins. Do they? There we go. Please don't turn red, clock. Please don't turn red. I need to I need this to go my way. I need to go really well my way. I keep getting distracted whenever a scene changes on my exported video. Like, you get to see the little preview of, like, whatever scene it's kind of working through editing right then, or not editing, but exporting. And so whenever the scene changes, it gets me. Definitely captures my attention. Cool. I'll take that. Can I... There we go. Really wasn't worth the time I wasted doing that, but you know. Life. I feel like everyone's doing okay. Like, nobody's, uh... Nobody's got no coins, that's good. That is proof of a strong fight. I hope. So we get a tough stage and everybody just croaks in one in one go. But really, I haven't seen any tough stages this round. Um, I think it's really all just been really basic stuff. And that's fine. Um, it's fine. I'd rather I'd rather have some tough stuff thrown in. Like, we are getting to the end game of this game. And I was really hoping to see it, uh... I was really just hoping to see, like, everybody level up and... We'd have a lot of high-level, uh, stages. Constantly, but, uh, that's not how it worked. We kept getting- we kept getting a deluge of, uh, new people. Which is great. Definitely keeps things fresh. But it also means the rounds get a little shorter and the, uh... The available courses uh, tend to be more on the easy side. I say, as somebody who's died to every stage in this game a billion times. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Let's get a. Let's get the 500 coins, please. Very close. Very, very close. Oh, you know what? No. I like my, uh, 584. 485. There we go. I know numbers. I can, I can say them when I see them. I have no problem with that at all. Allegedly. Allegedly. 
How tragic that one of these guys is standing in my way of, uh, being in third place, at least. Somebody has to fall. It'll probably be me. It'll probably be me jumping into a hole. Count on that foreshadowing. Oh my gosh. 5-4 is somewhere. I see somebody in 5-4. I have to survive. I have to play 5-4. Please. I see it finally. I finally see it. I finally... My hopes and dreams are before me. Game. Gosh darn it. You know what that is? That is a... That is a bold move. Um, give me something good, please. There we go. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Cool move, game -o. Cool move. Petition to rename calling games Game-O? Uh, sounds too much like Getmo. Oh, don't kill me. Don't kill me. I don't like this. I was just on an easy peasy quest to uh get to 5-4. And then the game takes it away from me. Like what's even going on? If I'm patient enough, I can actually get to the uh, next pipe. I say. Get in the pipe. Get in the pipe. We're moving on. There's nothing here for us. We are. We are. We're. Dre we're doomed. That's it. Cool. Let's uh sally forth. Continue on. Thanks, game. Okay. Not really what I wanted to do, but uh, I'll take it. Oh, that is... That's not what I want to endure. But, uh... Better than doing nothing, I guess. Thank goodness there's so much, uh... I'm gonna get fourth place, aren't I? I'm gonna get fourth place by running out of time. I'm not happy about that. 5-4. Five, 5-4. Four, five, four. I didn't even care. Honestly, like, deal with it, game. Deal with it. I'm wasting all my coins to survive this garbage. I don't care. Baby, yeah! Jump the- jump the battle axe, okay. Yay! Don't, uh... Don't know why I bother. Sometimes I just don't know why I bother. And other times I know exactly why I bother. <laughs> Yeah, you are wasting spinies, my dudes. You really are. All right, third place, buddies, baby. This is this is where it ends, isn't it? Uh, yep, this is where it ends. This is the cruel fate I chose for myself. <gasps> oh god. We somehow survived. A little bit longer. <gasps> Neato burritos. Cruel fate remix. We just gotta survive the next 100 and... Whatever seconds. 
doing stuff. Oh crap, come on, kill stuff. That's fair, that's fine, that's all you need to do. Give me this. Yep, that's me. <laughs> Third place. Darn. But still, that was a pretty spirited battle. <laughs> Holy crap, they're just, they're still going. Wow, I wasted all my coins. That stinks. Well, that was fun. We got to a uh, 5-4 finally. Which means 7-4 and 5-4 uh, once again. Our stages we have to play. <laughs> and if we get 8-4 knocked out again, and 7-4 knocked out again, then we can jump, well, I guess 5-4 once again, and then we can jump all the way to 4-3. Add that to the rotation. Slowly adding more stages to the rotation. That's that's what we hope to do. Here at a Super Mario 35. So yeah, we did it. We got everything knocked out. We had a fun, cool day. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Maybe practice counting like I do throughout your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.